that time period. Ooh, man, that is a cool game piece. Holy crap. All those square nails down there with it. It's a real good bullet signal right there with the GPX. So I got it marked. I'm going to go get the 800 and see if I can pick it up. Then I'm going to dig it. All right. So number two for the day. So that makes me very happy on the bullet. Down in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But looks like it's going to be another sharps. Yep. Nice one. That's a nice drop right there. Love that patina. You can see the seam where they molded it right there. At the post. This one was kind of loud. Loud, loud, loud. So loud. I didn't live dig it, but I got the plug out. So, okay, there's a bullet. Boy, that was awful loud for, for that right there. Ah, three ringer. It's awesome. Finally. It looks like uh, not too deep down in there. I'm gonna say it's probably a bullet or some camp lead. Let's see what we got. Interesting. It's lead. It's from that time period. Ooh, man, that is a cool game piece. Holy crap! That is a cool game piece right there now I'm just telling you looks like it was probably from a sharps maybe holy crap that was worth the day right there during the American Civil War soldiers spent most of their time in camp or marching and while they rested in the camp the soldiers didn't have a lot of options of what they had to do they could read they gambled they wrote letters or they whittled they whittled lead bolts into chess pieces, art, or flattened them into game pieces. This piece I found was carved by a soldier in a cavalry camp from a sharps bullet into the bishop to play chess. Chess originated in India about 1500 years ago. Here you see Krishna and Radha playing Chaturanga, which is the origin for today's modern day chess. Here is one of the few surviving medieval chess pieces carved of walrus ivory and whale's teeth in the 12th century. These are called the Lewis Chessmen and were found in 1831 on Lewis in the Outer Hybrids, Scotland. Malcolm MacLeod found these in a small stone cyst in the dunes. These pieces are in the British Museum and show a lot of character. I really like the rook, which they call a berserker, as he bites his shield before going into battle. Well, I was a little off with my pinpointing, my GPX, but uh, I think I finally come back to it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Try to clear out a little bit more there. It's gonna be drop right there try to lighten it up yes sir that is going to be a sharps drop which is awesome alright I'm going to try this see if you can hear this It's a real good bullet signal right there with the GPX. So I got it marked. I'm gonna go get the 800 and see if I can pick it up. Then I'm gonna dig it. And see if it's All right, I got the Equinox 800 fired up. Ground balance, noise canceled. Let me check the ground balance one more time. Ground balance. We're in park one. This is where I'm getting that bullet signal. 
with the GPX. Nada. So let me change modes. Part two. Just trying to get a 15 one way. Make sure I don't lose my spot. Go to field one. Okay. Let's try and get it one way. Let me check my recovery. My recovery speed. Slow it way down. Because it's sounding like it's a fairly deep. Take it down to three. Actually, seem to do better in a faster recovery, but let's go to field two. Field two's hitting it. It's hitting a 15. Showing it about 12 inches deep. So it is hitting it in field two, if that's a bullet. Let's go to beach one. Nada. Beach two. Just a blip. Let's go to gold one. Oh, that's a same thing, sixteen deep and that's in gold two, gold one. Let's go to gold two. Gold two. Still trying to hit it. Showing a good solid 15, 16. So, of course, with the GPX, you heard that it was loud and clear. I'll try to pinpoint it. Okay, so I'm getting it. So let me dig it and see what it is. Field mode picked it up, gave it a 15, 16 consistently, and beach mode struggled with it, but gold mode got it. So, this is mineralized soil, we've been having trouble with VLFs in here. So, I think the Equinox is pretty impressive there. That was probably about, I don't know, maybe five inches deep. So, there you go. There's a comparison between the Equinox 800 and the GPX 4500. I found the signal with the 4500, so pretty cool. All right, here's my wrap up. Tim with Dig Dogs. Mr. Ron had to head on home earlier. I hung out for a few more hours till almost dark, actually. And I did pretty good. I got a 54 three ringer drop. Got four sharps. Four 44 caliber pistol bullets and a lot of square nails and junk. I was just digging the bullet tones, mainly not the high tones. I dug a few. High. I will catch you next time. Have a good day. Happy hunting. <laughs>